So, high-end fashion house Chanel is the latest corporate entity finding itself in hot water via the perpetually offended social justice warrior set. The hate on for Chanel is all about a high-priced Chanel-branded boomerang selling for a lofty 1300 US. Apparently, the Chanel boomerang has emerged as a trigger for the latest cultural appropriation outrage. Here's what Aboriginal activist Nayuka Gori told The Guardian newspaper, quote, having a luxury brand swoop in, appropriate, sell our technologies and profit from our cultures for an absurd amount of money is ridiculous and hurtful, end quote. Um, <laughs> technologies? Uh, with all due respect, Gori, we're talking about a stick here, not exactly the iPhone. And yes, I know that was very white privilege of me to say so, but deal with it. Still, here's what makes this particular cultural appropriation story different from the du rigueur cultural appropriation nonsense we're used to. Namely, boomerangs have been appropriated by other cultures and companies for decades now, and there's never been a peep of protest uttered from the aboriginals down under. Let me count the ways. For starters, ABBA scored a top 40 hit in 1975 with their song, Bang a Boomerang. Yeah, that's right, folks. By giving away, I think you'll learn, you'll get love in return. So bang, a boom a boomerang is love. You know, I love ABBA, even though proclaiming love for the Swedish supergroup back in high school would get me beaten up by the cool kids, <laughs> but I digress. And boomerangs have also been used in films, such as The Road Warrior. Click on it! Click on it! Go for it! Go for it! <laughs> now that's a boomerang. There are even comic book characters like Marvel's Boomerang and DC's Captain Boomerang. As their monikers imply, these supervillains use boomerangs. G'day mate, Captain Boomerang here. Seems that Mirror Master wasn't up to the task. Now it's my shot. I'm gonna kill you ugly, Flash. So again, this is where this whole cultural appropriation business gets so confounding. Boomerangs have inundated non-Aboriginal societies forever without anyone raising a stink. And then suddenly when Chanel makes one, all hell breaks loose? Why? Is this a shakedown of a deep-pocketed company, perhaps? You know, the idea that all will be forgiven if Gory and his ilk get a piece of the Chanel boomerang action? In any event, if the new normal is that only Aussie or Aboriginals can use boomerangs, then does the cultural appropriation argument go the other way too? Namely, shall we suggest that aboriginals can't make use of planes, trains, and automobiles and so many other technologies that have enriched our lives because doing so would be appropriating Caucasian culture? Crikey, be careful what you wish for, mateys. Or to use a boomerang-inspired saying, sometimes what goes around comes around. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Like what you just saw? Then click subscribe below and never miss another Rebel video.